Also fireballs. You know what? Maybe the finish move is better against those things than I thought. But that's the problem. I... yeah, that one started moving like right when I got to it, so wouldn't it work that time? That is the chest with the boss key, but I can't get past that hole. Yet. I wonder if I should be recording this way. Okay, this room is always confusing to me because I always forget which way is which. Which way you turn that thingy to make it go, to make the central column thing go up and which way makes it go down. Oh yeah, also more annoying spikes around here. Now you could take the express route to the bottom by just falling. But I want to see, you know, the real way to do it. The non-cheap way to do it. And also much less painful to link. Okay, can't get past that. This target is here. Okay, and as you can see, it is still not at the bottom. Okay, you know why I get confused? Because usually you'd think of, like, clockwise being up and counterclockwise being down. Which would have been the way it was in the original. But because this is the Wii version, everything is reversed. That's probably why I get confused. Oh wait, this is the lowest level. Hmm. All right, I'll just work my way down to the top. Especially since it says that there's a treasure chest on this level. Oh wait, now I'm too high. <laughs> oh, this thing goes higher than I remember. Yeah, there are lots of claw shot targets in the form of those torches, so... You can get back to places quickly. Now, one of these things is the way to the key. Maybe here. Well, that's pointless. Unless I'm missing something. Yeah, but the map doesn't say that the key is here. They'll say that the key is roughly on this level. No, push it, don't roll into it. Maybe here? Okay, apparently the bubbles can get past the spikes. I should have known that, and I should have been watching what I was doing. Uh. Okay, oh, only seven more chests in the dungeon. 
There should be only seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And four of them are in a single room. Must be an interesting room. Actually, it is a very interesting room. Also, potentially very annoying. Oh, this room. I don't like this room. It is also very annoying. Okay, these things... Yeah. Anytime you see one of those things, that means potential for spikes. There are also ghost... lead rats here. If you try to go across quicksand while they're attached to you, you will go bye-bye. Come on. You know, it would help if I were. Yeah, Midna will freak out even if there's only one on you. Even though it won't weigh you down. Because I think it there have to be two on you before they start slowing you down. It just makes no sense to me, though. You can't kill them unless you can see them. Like, you can do the exact same motion, the exact same attack. But it will hurt it, the, the rat only if you can see it. I can hear that there's still at least one more. Oh, wait, no. It must be on me now, because Mint is freaking out. Crap. Well, don't just stand there. Help me out. Oh, wait. And they all respawn now, I bet. Yep, of course. And I probably had all but one or two of them. Yeah, the danger is of them getting onto you while you're going across the quicksand like that. Oh, that's annoying. That's really annoying. I mean, I don't know of any way to avoid that happening. Just another case of the game just doing something intentionally that's really annoying. Suppose you could gash to minimize the chance of that happening. Yeah, I guess that does help. Ow. Any chance that's all of them? Nope. I hate hearing the noise and not knowing where they are. And you can't see them from very far because you have to use sense view. Come on, just come out. I know you're there. I can hear you. Alright, here are the... Ah, redead! Didn't remember him. Or her. I don't know. Kind of hard to tell when it's a skeleton. Ow! Ow! 
Ah, these are so annoying. No, no smash. I smash you. Well, at least the rats stayed out of the way for that fight. Keep hoping to hear that, you know, enemy's gone too. But it has not played. There's probably another one of the dumb rats in here. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Still not the last one. How many of those stupid things are there? Getting quite annoying. Okay, I I'm not gonna be able to go on until I find that dumb thing and kill it. Alright, please tell me this is the last. No, it's not. Wait, maybe it is. Anyway, I'm looking for a one of those chains to pull. Here. Yes, it's here. Alright, that this room has taken me quite long enough. Okay, you know what? Maybe you need to be human. I think you may need the iron boots for this one. Oh no, you don't need the iron boots, you just need to be human. I suppose it is easier to get more force with your arms than with your teeth. Ow! I'm not gonna make it, am I? Nope. Alright, I guess there's nothing to do but memorize the route. And don't be in the quicksand for too long because that seriously slows you down. Quicksand, quicksand. quicksand slows you down and also makes you not pronounce your words right, apparently. Keep pulling, just keep pulling. Come on, make it, make it, make it. Okay, yes. Not by much, but I made it. I hear blade traps. Yep, these things. Oh, more stupid creatures that... Nope, almost ran right into that thing. Make it! Thank you! Hey, I made it through that whole thing without getting hit by a blade trap. Hey, it's Cuckoo! I'm sure, give her to you late in this dungeon. <sighs> I should be doing that more often. I need to. Yeah, this, this shows you I'm not used to this method of recording. I, I really should be, like, saying things now and then, you know, synchronized with certain sound effects so that I can actually synchronize the video more easily. But I haven't been doing that. Oh, big spinning blade thingy of doom. Ow. I gotta open that gate. over here. Must be the other place. Okay, yeah. Keep 
close to the center here if you're like going around the room because that's the only way you're going to be fast enough. Okay, Stelfos. You know what? I should just use bomb arrows against these things. Yeah, come on. Oh, they're faster than I remember. Now. Get out. And for some reason, I can't get them far enough from me so that I don't blow myself up. I hate these things, because, like, you can't kill them. You, oh, wait, maybe you can kill them. I guess I was killing them. How do I get over there? Is there where I want to go? Maybe I need to get up here. Whoa! Not that way. Any flash off targets? Can't go there. Looks like I need something else to get through here. Something that I don't have. Unless this is the way I need to go. Another stealth race. You know what? I'll just take the blow up. I'll take the hit. That's the easiest way to get rid of this thing. No! Oh, I guess you have to kill all the stealth races. Seems like a pretty dumb idea for a security system. Okay, you killed all the guards, therefore, we're going to, you know, let you through. Give me heart. Of course, you know, I guess I don't really need hearts. It's still 39 hit points here. I just like to stay at maximum hearts. Ow. I see a lot of people play these games and, and like, just pass up hearts a lot of the time. I don't know if they don't see them, or if they just don't think they need them. Then again, I watch my videos sometimes and see that I pass up hearts occasionally, but not that often. Oh, stupid. Oh, there's a flash on target. Nah! Get off me! I'm not gonna make it, am I? Maybe? Come on, come on! Yes! You made it. I supposed to no. Okay, yes, the door. And full health. What's in here? This looks like mini boss time. And it's a big sword with red letter D's on it. Okay, so that sword is not moving on its own. turn into a wolf to see that there is actually something moving it. And as with the pose in here, when it blows, you can hit it. At least if you don't miss. Alright, yeah, that brings it. That does the Hilbert effect. I guess you'd only know what I'm talking about if you watch my Xenosaga Let's Play. 
It makes it visible. Uh, material, whatever. Can I blow this thing up? Not like that, I can't. The way it floats in the air reminds me of Phantom Ganon. How do I hit this thing? Oh wait, do I have to hit those things back at it? I didn't think you did that with this boss. Then again, maybe I just have to arrow it. Okay, whatever I'm doing doesn't seem to work. Take bomb arrows off, maybe then I can hit it. Oh, come on, aim at the thing. Okay, it seems to be blocking my arrows. Okay, maybe I do have to hit those things back. It would help if I could target the thing. Okay, I honestly forget what to do here. I could look at the guy, but I don't really want to pause, and I think I could probably figure it out here. Get him down here. Ah, crap, he came in material again. Get him down here. How would I do that? He just depresses me. Sounds like you're telling me to use the iron boots, but that makes no sense. Claw shot, maybe? Well, that at least seemed to have responded to it. Oh, okay, that is what you did. Apparently. So I think I just damaged him there. It seems I just hit him with the claw shot, and then he gets in range with my sword. I don't know if that's actually what you're supposed to do, but it seems to work. Ow. Oh, oh, die. Die again. Yeah, this is the problem with, like, telling an undead thing to die. It's already done that. Disintegrate. 